For those of you who follow me regularly, you'll know that I'm in a new setting today. This is my new home gym. I'm gonna be showing you around another video, maybe one or two videos after this, I'll show you exactly. It's still under construction, almost complete, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get yours on a budget because quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of gyms now. Not just cause they're busy, it's the music, the environment, the people, what gyms used to be when I used to own them to what they are today. It's not the same. And Sheffield has many, many great gyms, but none that I'm suited for. And maybe I'm a little bit different, who knows? But whatever it is, I finally done it for the first time ever after seven gyms. This is my eighth one, which is my own in my gym. This is the smallest gym. But anyway, that's another video completely. What I'm gonna to talk to you about, guys about today is something that keeps cropping up a lot. And as you know, I talk about TRT, I talk about steroids, I talk a lot about performance enhancing drugs. And one of the things that comes up a lot, for many young guys especially, or middle-aged guys, they have this thing where, if I take this, will it suppress my appetite? And the thing in question is Anavar. Most people say, will Anavar suppress my appetite? Appetite? No. Suppress my testosterone, my natural testosterone. I don't know why I said appetite, do apologize. But I'm not gonna edit that out. Right, does Anavar suppress natural testosterone production? Here's the thing. Yes, it does. Of course it does. If you are taking a exogenous, I think that's the word, I googled it. I think so, exogenous, yeah. Exogenous form of testosterone, be it injectable, oral, or whatever. Of course, when you put something inside your body that your body's already producing, your body's gonna think, hang on a minute. I'm already producing testosterone. Do I really need to be producing my own testosterone when this guy is not, not naturally, when this guy is unnaturally, putting in testosterone. So the body thinks, well, actually, you know what? I don't need to produce this because first of all, it's very hard for your body to produce testosterone, which is why the majority of guys out there, literally the majority of guys out there have very low testosterone, especially when they hit the age of 20. It used to be 30, but now, like I've mentioned in other videos, I keep seeing results of 20 year olds, active 20 year olds, in shape 20 year olds, guys with six packs, guys who have laboring jobs, guys who are doing everything right but their testosterone is still low. And the reason for that, I've mentioned in many other videos, Pornhub is a big thing for that. Fast food, water, going out here and there, just a lifestyle, general lifestyle. So you're doing everything else right. You're doing the training, you're doing the eating, you're doing everything else, but there's just so many chemicals in the air, everywhere. That's why our natural testosterone is now lower than somebody who was born, let's say, in the 1950s. That's just fact, nothing we can do about it until now. Anyway, point, point of the video. Does it suppress your natural testosterone production? 100%, of course it does. Now, here is the best test subjects for me to use about natural testosterone. Now, one of the main things what people talk about natural testosterone is they have this fear of, will I be able to have kids when I wanna stop steroids or when I wanna stop TRT? Is it possible? Now, Forget the, the data that they test subject on X individuals and they do this and do that. We know that's all doctored. Let's look at real life data. So we can go back to, let's say who the oldest bodybuilder is or someone who we know who's in the public eye who is known to be taking steroids or they're having kids or they're struggling to have kids. Now, the main things in my mind before bodybuilding spring to Arnold Schwarzenegger, multiple kids, juiced up to the gills, we all know that. Sylvester Stallone, kids. Any person in that era from Predator, from uh, you know the Universal Soldier days, the old school guys will know about that. When you watch those kind of movies, or Rocky, those are the early well-known celebrity steroid takers. They all have kids. Not one of them from what I know, from my knowledge, has ever struggled to take kids. Now we can move on to bodybuilders. Let's go way, way back to Sergio Olivia, a senior, and he obviously was the biggest guy ever walking around in the 60s, 70s. Did he have kids? Yeah, he has got a kid, we know that. You know, Sergio Levy Jr., that's his, that's his kid. Many of the bodybuilders from that era have all got kids. Now we move it forward to the 80s, 90s, and the early 2000s. Let's talk about Dorian Yates, kids. Jay Cutler, well, Jay Cutler actually, forget Jay Cutler because he's not had any kids, he doesn't want kids, that's a different, I don't know why I even mentioned Jay Cutler. What I meant to say was Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman actually has got around about nine or 10 kids, possibly something around the range of that, you'd have to Google it, find out. But let's just say 
If you were to look at a bodybuilder and you say, well, this guy's juiced up, he's Mr. Olympia eight times, has he taken steroids? Probably more than any of you will ever take for a lengthy period of time. Still managed to have kids. Early on in his career and late on, after he retired, he still had kids because there was a documentary of Ronnie Coleman recently. I say recently, it was about four or five years ago, and his kids were about this big. Three, four, five-year-old little girls. And I've seen the documentary myself, so I know that his kids, and they, 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 they really look like him as well, so we know they're not adopted. So yes, we know from data, actual real life data, that taking testosterone does not stop you from having kids. Now, forget everyone else, I'm gonna take myself as a test subject. I was on probably the heaviest cycle I've ever done and had my daughter conceded, or whatever they call it. Got my missus pregnant. So data, look no further. Look at yourself, and there's many bodybuilders out there that will tell you this exactly the same thing. There's, there's guys out there who I know personally, I'm not gonna mention anybody, who have struggled to have kids, and they've never taken testosterone, ever. There's guys out there who will take testosterone or struggle to have kids and think, it's got to be this. But bro, you didn't know that because when you were off or if you never took testosterone, you'd probably have the same situation. Anyway, fast forward now, there's actual protocols out there to help you have kids. Uh, click the link below, my ultimate TRT program. There's gonna be a pregnancy protocol in there as a bonus. It's not free of charge, it's as a bonus. So my TRT protocol is 79 pound, buy it now and all the information is in there. Now moving forward to suppression of testosterone. Forget about the kids, we've got that one boxed off. Will it suppress your testosterone? Of course it will. So if you were to take, let's say your body was to produce in milligrams, I know it doesn't, but let's just for argument's sake, say your body produced it in milligrams per day. Let's say your body was producing 10 milligrams of testosterone every single day. And you was to put in 10 milligrams of testosterone. Your body would think, what's the point of me making this? It's hard enough, it's one of the hardest things that your body does, and we know that because it always stops producing it. It's the first thing your body thinks, stressed out, stop producing it. Get too fat, stop producing it. Get out of shape, stop producing it. Stop doing anything physical activity, stop producing it. The body wants to stop producing testosterone straight away because we're not giving it anything, any stimulus to maintain that testosterone. So with data, we know your body will stop producing that. On top of that, if you're adenine testosterone, 10 milligram, 20 milligram, and your body can only produce 10 milligram, of course, it's gonna suppress. In certain instances, it might switch off. It might completely stop your natural protect test production. But who cares? As long as your health markers are in check, do you really care? We have science now to know, when I say science, I use that word lightly, you take bloods when you're natural. What is your testosterone? Is it low? Okay, now I'm gonna take a TRT. You take a TRT, you take your bloods, everything good, great. If you wanted to come off again, you could do your blood work again and try to bring it back naturally, only back up to where it was originally. You can't increase testosterone naturally, remember that guys. You can bring it back. So there's so much data out there to tell you, to tell us that yes, we can bring testosterone back if we ever come off. So if we've suppressed our testosterone or if we've literally crashed our testosterone, it will eventually come back. But my thing to everybody is, what is the point? If you are one of those guys, now, forget about what I've just said. If you're one of those guys who's asking me, if I take low-dose Anavar, if I take Anadrol, if I take, what's the, what's the, the, the cool one out there, to T-ball, you know, the one where there's no water retention and it's very, very safe to take. Let's say you take that, or Primo or something like that. Is my testosterone gonna be suppressed? Why do you even care, bro? That's what I'm gonna say, because here's the thing. If you're taking testosterone, obviously it's for a reason. It might be vanity reasons, or it might be for, for someone like me, health reasons. It might be for longevity purposes, which is what I promote. Whether you're taking it, sorry, if you've decided to take it, then you know what it is. You know what it's about. Your testosterone is 100% gonna get shut down. And when it gets shut down, you know how to combat it. But the reason for taking it in the first place is because you had low testosterone to begin with. So does it really matter if your natural testosterone is shut down? And that brings me to answering my own question or the question everybody asks me is, are you gonna be on this the rest of your life? Yes, of course I am. Why would I not? Why would I wanna come off, feel depressed, feel anxious, feel soft, feel like, a bit tired, I can't go to sleep properly, libido's low, all the symptoms I will get. I've tried it before I know. And I sit there thinking, what is up with me? I feel good, I'm going to the gym. I'm doing my morning cardio. I'm an active guy, everything's good. What's going on in my life? 
it's testosterone. Soon as I bang testosterone back in, even a low dose of it, I'm back to normal. So if it's a quick fix, why are you worried? If there's blood work out there to tell us if there's anything wrong, why are you worried? If there's guys like me on the internet telling you I can do coaching, you can do coaching with me and I will talk you and walk you through every single process, every single step of the way. If there's any side effects that show up in a blood work, how do we combat those side effects? We have the data, guys. We have the data. So going back to the start of the video again, does taking low-dose Anavar or low-dose steroid of anything suppress your natural testosterone? Yes. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Can we bring it back? Of course we can. Do you want to bring it back? Do you want to bring your natural testosterone back after you've made the decision to jump on steroids or TRT? I don't know. Only you can answer. Anyway, hopefully this video gave you some value. Comment down below. Please subscribe. And hopefully the sound in here isn't too echoey. I'm going to figure that out, but I'm going to post this video anyway. Let me know in the comments down below.